With U.S. President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration set for next week, as President Trump is impeached for a second time, politics are dominating a lot of our conversations these days. But these discussions can become divisive and turn into a war of opinions. Etiquette expert Sharon Schweitzer joins us this morning with some advice on keeping things polite and respectful. Good morning, Sharon. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here. So we all have people that are in our lives, whether they're colleagues or friends, that things will get heated if we have these conversations. How can we engage in polite and respectful conversation? There are a couple of options available. We have to remember that in the U.S., we tend to be culturally conditioned to avoid discussing politics. That is slowly evolving and changing with the generational shifts. So we're seeing some folks in the younger generation who want to talk about politics. So we see people who want to talk about and engage in these discussions and we need to be ready and prepared for that. So you have options available. Some people will ask a direct question. Some people will ask a more indirect question and you need to be prepared to either engage in that or say, no, thank you. And here's why. Now, if your boss asks you or your supervisor, you have to kind of do a ballet dance as to whether or not you're going to engage in the discussion. So one of the things you can do is say something like, you know, during this time of divisiveness, I choose to keep my opinion to myself. And if you're uncomfortable with that, because that is rather direct, you can say, you know, I'm still observing what's occurring. And I really, at this point in time, am not sharing my opinion because I'm still observing what's happening. Mm -hmm. What are your and turn the question back to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still taking it all in, especially with all the news coverage. How important is it to, to know your audience first? Because sometimes you don't know if they're red or blue or what their beliefs are. That's right. And there are a lot of independent voices. There are a lot of shifting uh, opinions right now. People are shifting across the aisle. So you really do need to know your audience. That's extremely important. And sometimes your audience has changed their opinion or changed their position. So diplomacy is crucial. Um, you really want to kind of test your audience. And sometimes you don't know. I have had a number of folks who have said to me, I get asked the question out of the blue. I have no idea what my boss or what my colleagues, uh, you know, positions are. We've never talked politics. I don't know how to answer the question. And mm -hmm. so the best thing you can do is remain neutral. If you don't know your audience, okay. if you do know your audience, sometimes you want to test the water and find out have those waters shifted mm -hmm. are they a different color now yes a lot of people might be changing their opinions is 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 it good to maybe say nothing to keep our opinions to ourselves altogether many people choose the privacy route many many people do um sometimes family members can even get upset with each other um and some family members will avoid saying who they voted for. Um, I think a majority of my family doesn't know who I voted for because my husband and I aren't sharing that information. So you can say, you know, I'm going to keep my opinion to myself. I think right now it's best that I don't share what my thoughts are. But I do appreciate you asking and thank you for your interest. On the flip That's side, uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, but uh, how about social media behavior? Because people sometimes just send a link that obviously shows their, their thoughts and maybe will influence uh, a relative or a friend. What are your thoughts about liking something, disliking something, and just sending a link? Well, there is some research that is out that says that if you do share your opinion and do it in a respectful way, in a dignified way, that you can be a cheerleader for democracy, depending on how you do it. Now, there's a lot of debate right now and there's a lot of discussion about the manner in which people express their views. So I think we all have to be respectful, not only of each other, but of ourselves, because how you express your views is a direct representation of your self-esteem and your self-respect. And so if you want to share your views and share your thoughts, mm -hmm. remember the reflection of your how you view yourself. That's and it's influence other people. That's a great way to look at it. Mm -hmm. Sharon Schweitzer, etiquette expert, thank you so much for joining us this morning and telling us how we can make that very delicate walk. Thanks, Sharon.
Thank you.